Hello and welcome to Builderoo TV. I'm here talking with Gary from Anvic. Uh, he's going to tell us a little bit about his product and what it's all about. Gary, how are you? I'm great, Vanessa. How are you today? I'm doing fabulous. Thank you. Excellent. So tell us a little bit about uh, Anvic Building Systems. Excellent. I'd like to tell you about Anvic. Anvic uh, started uh, 10 years ago uh, and designed an insulated concrete form. Uh, an ICF or an insulated concrete form is a stay in place expanded polystyrene form. It's held together by polypropylene webs. It's stacked up, it's braced, and concrete goes in there. So this becomes a very energy efficient, um, very environmentally friendly wall system. Why is it environmentally friendly? I'm sure you're going to ask me. Of course. Well, <laughs> the components of the ICF wall system are made of the, uh, the web, which is 60% or 100% post recycled material which by weight makes this product a 60% recycled material. The other uh, uh, environmentally uh, friendly issue with ICF is that uh, it creates a very tight wall system, so 30 to 50% energy saving is going to result from, uh, from using an ICF uh, system. As far as, the, you mean that in heating costs and everything, it's going to stay in there and not go out into, you know, Absolutely. The Unlike traditional uh, wall systems or building systems where uh, the insulation acts more as a filter, this acts as a very airtight wall system, uh, so the, uh, uh, the inside is not going to leak to the outside and con the outside is not going to leak into the inside. So it is a very efficient uh, energy system. We're also not going to dump all that uh, extra carbon uh, uh, into the atmosphere uh, because of the energy saving uh, that we're going to have. So with the, the styrofoam, he's saying that it's more energy efficient because why? Even though it's styrofoam, I know a lot of people think styrofoam, bad for the environment. Why are you, why is styrofoam great to use in this case? Well, if you look at insulation material in general, insulation material takes uh, a lot of energy to produce. Uh, for example, fiberglass or cellulose. Uh, while they are recycled materials, it does take a lot of energy to produce those products. With this product here, basically what happens is, it is it, it's an expanded polystyrene bead, and how that is expanded is with steam, so there's no uh, harmful uh, emissions that, uh, that are uh, involved with this. It's a very lightweight material. Uh, it will not decompose. Uh, it will not uh, um, fall down. So it's very rigid. It's, uh, uh, it, it is a very good uh, insulation product. In Europe, they've been using expanded polystyrene as the main insulation product for many, many years now. And it's proven itself over the years. It can be recycled. Uh, it will not uh, harm the environment. Uh, it will not harm landfill. Uh, and uh, uh, so it is a very um, uh, earth-friendly product. And so how easy is this product to use for builders? Because I, I heard you talking a little bit before this comes pre-assembled, so it, it'll help with, with building costs and such. So talk to us a little bit about that. Excellent, Vanessa. And uh, all of us uh, guys, when we were little, we used to build with Lego. So this is a very, very adult uh, Lego system. <laughs> yeah. Okay, basically all you yeah. do is you set it down, you're going to stack it up, just exactly the same thing as we used to do with Lego. Uh, because it comes pre-assembled, um, you're going to find that a pre-assembled block is a lot stronger than a block that you it's would strong, assemble in the sturdy. field. Yeah, you're not going to be able Ooh, to pull, pull that strong. apart. <laughs> uh, and the other thing is, is that you're pouring concrete in here, so uh -huh. you want to make sure that it is strong, that you're not going to have blowouts uh, and have the concrete uh, fall out of the system. Okay, so very easy to use, and then you can use this on all floors. How many stories or levels rather can you can you use this is there a certain level that it's safe or unsafe um, basically it started off as a basement foundation system uh, today it goes all the way up we just finished a 15 story residence uh, uh, condominium residence there's no limitation uh, I mean in effect what you have is a concrete reinforced wall system so the the only limitation is how far up can you get concrete and <laughs> to this point in time they can go as high as you want to go so there is no limitation with ICF construction and are you working 
in throughout the whole United States? Or are you specifically where? Uh, ICFs are a worldwide product. Uh, certainly, Am Amvic. Amvic uh, we do have uh, North America is our main uh, our main area. Uh, California is uh, is a great area for uh, ICF. Uh, there's energy conscientious. There's uh, environmental. There's there's a lot of things in uh, in a California market that really make uh, ICF a great uh, a great product. But North America wide, it is embraced uh, and used very very much. So it's really growing in popularity. So how about the cost? How does that compare to the traditional, um, I guess you would say, structure of a building? Is it much more expensive along the same lines? Is it even out in the long run? How would you compare? If you're looking at cost, what, one of the things that you've got with an ICF wall system is you have a five-in-one wall system. So you have your structure mm -hmm. with your concrete and your steel. You have your insulation with your expanded polystyrene. The ski, the uh, it is an air barrier. Concrete is an uh, is a vapor and an air barrier, uh, and then you also have your framing with your web. So this web that holds the two uh, um, insulation sides together actually becomes your attachment part for your drywall. So that your uh, your drywall is just screwed in to the foam. Yeah. And on so the, just on the side, so you just every um, six inches you've got one of these embedded in there. Right in there. <laughs> just screw it right in. So Perfect. Gary, yeah. tell me a little bit about any certifications that you have, or if you if you get lead credits by using this Ambic product. Okay, Vanessa. Uh, first of all, Ambic is a member of the AIA, American Institute of Architects, so we do uh, participate with uh, with training programs. Uh, we're also a member of the USGBC uh, Green Building Council, which uh, did develop the uh, Leadership and Energy Efficient Design, or LEAD. Uh, using an Ambic ICF uh, product will uh, contribute to uh, to LEAD points, uh, depending on the project, whether it's a, uh, a home or a commercial uh, uh, building. Uh, you can get anywhere from 12 up to 24 points uh, nice. a contribution by yeah. using this product. So definitely it is a green product and it does contribute to LEED. So any other ways, uh, is the company moving towards any other big projects, any innovations, anything like that? Is there anything that you could tell the consumer or the professional to look forward to in the future? Yes, uh, as a matter of fact, uh, a lot of the states are uh, are starting to specify uh, ICF, insulated concrete forms, uh, in schools uh, because you get a very healthy, very energy efficient, very safe structure. Uh, if, uh, it, the hurricanes and tornadoes that we've seen recently uh, with the weather patterns, your building is still going to be standing. Uh, so a lot of the states are starting to specify ICF as the method of construction. Um, so there's a lot of great growth there. Uh, as a company, we're developing a floor system, that's the AMDEC floor system, which you can see on our website, www.amvexsystem.com. Uh, we're also developing some new uh, commercial uh, uh, tilt-up uh, system that uh, will be available uh, in the beginning of next year. So now what exactly, for those of us who don't know, what is a tilt-up system? Well, a tilt-up system is something that's used uh, primarily in the South, uh, California, Texas, and Florida. And basically what happens there is your concrete is actually poured on the ground and then the wall is tilted up and put in place. So okay. generally it has not been a, uh, an insulated product, uh, but we're uh, developing a new system that, uh, that will be uh, something that uh, we're really excited about showing uh, some of the commercial contractors. Very nice. Well, Gary, thank you so much. Thank you. It was a pleasure talking to you. And you also. And check out more videos like this at buildaroo.tv.com. Thank you very much. Thank you.